Uh, oh my god. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh? Ooh. Did you just say gentlemen? I like the idea of getting ambushed. Welcome back my oodles and oodles to more Baldur's Gate 3. We've had such an awesome time and actually I've been itching to play this game and sometimes it's like really bad. The itch is so bad. So I'm actually playing this a couple days in advance because I really wanted to play. We're nearing some, we're nearing, I think, I want to call it act two based off what I've heard from you guys, but we're nearing the mountain pass. So we do have a, a couple of decisions to make. We have to really try travel through the mountain pass is what Halzen was talking about to get to the next to the moonrise towers or we could go into the underdark we've already found the entrance to the mountain pass but you know we've been doing a lot of side quest stuff recently so with that let's jump right into the recap all right since setting out on our awesome adventure we've managed to escape the hells on the nautiloid save the refugees that were in druid's grove saved a pregnant woman named marina from a witch hag who wanted to take her baby from her killed an entire camp of goblins, rescued a druid named Halzen, who was able to give us more insight as to what we're really supposed to be doing here. Not all this side stuff, but what we were really meant to be doing. In regards to our main quest, we met some cultists who worship a deity called the Absolute. One of them could telepathically communicate with us, which means they were infected with the Mind Flayer parasite as well. It seems like the Illithid parasites had already been altered by followers of that Absolute, and if we want answers, we are going to need to head to the cult space at Moonrise Towers. That that's kind of where we're supposed to be going, but we're kind of getting a little lost in the sauce in regards to quests and adventures and side plots and battles. All of last episode, we got a little lost to temptation. Don't worry, I have a strong will, okay? I have a strong will. I resisted the temptations that Astarian and both Gale offered or insinuated, okay? Now... Oh no. I. I think I did it again. I did it again. No, there was something behind. There was something big behind this door. There was a bunch of people holding this door open and I wanted to long rest before I moved forward because I didn't want to get, oh no, this happened with Lazel too. I never know if it's like a moment I can pause or a moment I can't pause. This happened in the goblin camp with Halzen. I thought that if I left Halzen to go to camp that he, without completing the quest, that he would just disappear on me like Lazel did. In the beginning of the game, episode one, two, sorry. We lost Lazel, who's actually another companion that's supposed to join you. We lost her because we went to go long rest. And when we came back from a long rest, she was gone. I guess a part of me just expects people to just be right where I left them, but I need to, n I think maybe if it's time sensitive, then I need to understand it's self-explanatory and I should jump into the fray. But my whole party was so injured. Ah, uh, that is so hard to swallow. That's a hard pill to swallow. Let's talk to somebody, see what figured, what happened here. God, look what they did to him. That could have been me. Did you know him? Barely. He was a new recruit but he was a flaming fist that made us better than brothers. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Dang it. I feel bad. I came in here looking for a big fight and I'm sure there was going to be a big fight. I could go back. I think I've got the save file. I do have the save file. Okay. I need to see. I need to see how hard this fight is. My, my party is beat to crap, but if this was time sensitive and I missed it, I need to know what was behind that door. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be a fight, but maybe we should set everybody up as if it's going to be a big fight. You know what I mean? See, look, everyone's holding this door. Let's set everyone up. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this is, uh, if we're good here. Raven girl could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. Oh, we're pushing. Oh God. I'm not very good at this. Uh, let's, let's, let's try, I guess. I'm not very good at strength. I thought it was gonna be a big fight. Let's roll again. All right, that does it. That literally does it by the hair of our chinny chin chin. <laughs> Inside, hurry. We don't have much time. Oh, I guess my friends come, come, come. Group everybody. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now we can split. Let's let's go save somebody. Let's go save everyone. Where 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 is somebody? Oh whoa! Uh, oh my god! I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, trapped man, rescue the trap. How? How does one rescue the the trapped man? Can I use water? Do I have any water? I do have water, dude. I don't know how we're supposed to get him out of here. I only have a couple of water bottles. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do I do? Am I supposed to break this door down? Well, my character clearly cannot withstand any of this. Oh, look, he got out. The trapped man got out. <laughs> I didn't help him at all. Mitty, who are you looking for? Save your breath. There aren't any survivors. Who are you looking for? She was outside when the goblins came. She was wearing a green blouse, brown hair, about this tall. Have you seen her? Uh, she's almost certainly dead. You don't know that. Yeah, I think she's dead. I'm like nearly sure that she is dead. Oh no. I think we messed up on Gail. We had a whole cutscene with Gail. I don't think there was any point to us going in there. I'm just gonna reload my save file because it didn't seem like we needed to help out any of those guys anyways, right? And I did a whole magical moment with Gale and I just erased that entire magical moment. Him and I did the weave together, I guess. I thought that there was gonna be like a big fight. I don't know if I cared too much about the people that were in the building. <laughs> I'll still loot the building. I don't know about the people in the building. Looks like all the fire is good as burned out. That's good. Or is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Blinded. Oh, no, it's still happening. Oh, look, it's the guy. I think that, yeah, it was the guy. I didn't help him get out in time. Oh, well. Oh, look, it's, I think this is water. Can I, can I attack this? Yeah, water everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of water bottle barrels everywhere. Oh, that's cool. And what is this? Okay. So there are ways to put out the fire. I am not 100% sure I want to be here anymore. <laughs> it seems like a nice area, I guess, but I don't know how to attack most of this and how to get around the fire. I have to, I, have, I think I have to take it easy on myself. This was, this, this game was mainly made for the PC. So a lot of the shortcuts and hotkeys are really hard for me to understand. So sometimes when I go to click on things, it's just a little too difficult and I end up just kind of giving up on it. So let's just explore the rest of this area. Ooh. I'm way too big. Wait, I'm too big for what? I'm a halfling. Stolen property reward offered. In, a, in an act of craven vandalism that has not been diminished by the intervening years, the statue of the beloved ranger was callously torn from the center marketplace in Baldur's Gate and is still yet to be found. Though it has been some time since a replica was erected in its place, the collective of concerned citizens of the wide remains convinced that the original statue is still out there somewhere and is willing to bestow a hefty sum upon whoever might assist with its retrieval. No questions asked. We urge the thieves in question to consider. This piece of art was commissioned to not to be, not to offend, but to inspire. Indeed, the bold adventurer depicted is no real person living or dead, but a metaphor of the city itself standing solid and stern upon its foundations, gazing outward, but still clutching tight to the heart of warmth of hope. Oh, return to a blighted city, it, its beloved ranger. Raise a hand to help and we shall fill it with gold. Huh. Is it not this statue that's right there? Well, if I'm too big, then I we have no hopes of doing anything there. I need like a little like a little creature. Do I get a creature? Do I get a familiar? Oh, <gasps> a familiar. I have a cat familiar. Can the, the can the cat fit? Can I use my can I use the conjured hand? Oh, I can. Look at that. What is this area? A lot of dead people. Kind of feel bad. Flaming Fist Mercenary. Oh no, that's not the right one. They're all kind of the same, aren't they? Oh, I can move stuff. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> the sand is awesome. Attack. Oh, it's a sturdy door. Okay. Is there a door I can unlock? I don't know why I'm spending so much time in this one little area. Ooh, that was a difficult door. Oh, that's some good stuff. A quarter staff? Was that it? There was just a person in here? There is like nothing in here. What was the point of unlocking this? Oh, Counselor Floric. Maybe that's who I was... Oh. You know, now looking back, that makes a lot of sense why I needed to rescue this one person. <laughs> but we didn't. And honestly, it seems like a pretty tough call there. Now, maybe on my next playthrough, I'll figure out how to get out there. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to get in there and save that person. That seemed like a time sensitive issue. And I just did not have the time to want to do that. Well, onwards we go. Wait. A jagged rock? Ooh, okay. 
The black silhouette of a winged serpent, sir, sorry, winged serpent marks the top of this page. As always, take what you need, but stock it up after. This is for everyone. <laughs> no, it's for me. Thank you. Uh, the serpent. I, I think I know what the serpent is supposed to stand for. Oh, oh, those look bad. Uh, am I gonna get a fight here? All right, let's get the drop on these guys, yeah? Oh my god, that was wild. That was a wild fight. Those guys were actually really hard. <laughs> Why do I keep getting into these hard fights? Okay, now we just save and try not to die. We'll see how good that is. Ooh. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry? How archaic, my darling Giselle, is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet, to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. Giselle is a bear? Well, let's be on the lookout for a bear then. Oh, maybe we're gonna get a bear sooner rather than later. Look, there's tracks. You think these are bear tracks? Maybe if we call out to Giselle, then we'll we'll get Giselle. Oh, oh, uh, okay. So there, there's two people still in the fight. Who are these people? Oh my god, this seems like a really difficult fight. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do. Maybe we try the fight and see how this goes. Th these guys are gonna be really hard, though. You know what? Maybe we should. Okay, I'm gonna reload it and I'm gonna try to go into this a stealthy way. Maybe we can save those two guys in the in the the thing. That's a lot of people. Honestly, though, if I was able to defeat Anti Ethel, I feel like I should be able to beat a bunch of uh you know, bunch of other animals. So if I sneak into the grove, I don't get attacked. Oh, I don't get seen, I don't think. Huh. I'm trying to find a good vantage point. What the? Okay. Everyone should have been hiding and crouching, but I guess not. Someone's fighting the nose. We should help. Yes, help us. Be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. No, help us! Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Maybe there was another way into this cave then. Should I go try to find another way into the cave? I thought that everyone was crouching with me. I don't like this. There has to be another way into that cave. See, there we go. Everyone's crouching now. Are we all happy? <laughs> all right, so if we go up, maybe if we go further into this other area. So I'm assuming that I already killed the people that killed the gnolls because this is where Karlak kind of went crazy. Wait, was there a secret entrance down here? Ornate wooden hatch. There is. That corpse is riper than a Minaurus bog. <laughs> Karlak, what? Karlak, don't say things like that. Locked? Uh, lock picking impossible? What? What? Impossible to lockpick? I'm an amazing lockpick specialist. How is that? Okay. I thought I thought I had found a way to go into the under area. Maybe there's like a cave over this way then. Ooh, here we go. Crazy that I'm not level five yet. Okay, so that's the bridge. Is there a cave coming? Yes, there is. Okay, so I had a feeling there was another way into this cave. I'm starting to learn. Don't worry. Oh, I think I could hit that thing. Here we go. Oh my God. I was literally just about to walk that. I was just waiting for my team members and I found a trap. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. So many traps. Guys, by the way, I didn't realize that I could change my dice. I don't know how to change more dice. I like the normal dice, but I want like pink dice. Pink dice would be really cool. Ooh, Karlak is ex inspired by me disarming a trap. Okay, so there are people here. Find the missing shipment. Oh, I found the missing shipment. Okay, so what if we just don't get caught by these guys? <laughs> they were so eager to leave us be. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Strongbox. Wait, the shipment, shipment. 
They said not to open it, right? We discovered two people trapped in a cave surrounded by a horde of ravenous gnolls. They'll likely die without help. So I have to help them? Well, I don't really mu very much like that outcome down, don't I? Well, the game says that I should help. So maybe I set up a Starion. Oh, a Starion got stuck. Okay, I think they might actually die without us. I, I didn't realize that they were struggling so much. Let's just do it. Who the hell's get over here and help? <laughs> so it's funny because they are If we don't deal with them gnolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. You can actually there's another way out, yeah. Another way out. Uh persuasion. One of us is getting out of here richer. I don't fight for free. They were going to, you know, leave us before, so I'm thinking that they should pay us. They're the ones in a tough situation. I win. I always win. Fine. Money's useless to dead men. There. You are fairly bought and paid for. Let's take Yeah! <laughs> Alright, well now if I can just make sure I don't die here. Uh, let's go back to my... My character here. Holy crap. It's just so many of them. I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, honestly. There's just so many. Try to kill the leader. Who's the leader? Okay. I I have a confession. I <laughs> might have gone into a little bit of a rage fest about two in your in in your eyes about 30 seconds ago. But to me, it's been about two days, I think. Uh I'm going to I'm also going to reload this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you exactly why I rage quit. So I found the missing shipment and I've been trying to save these guys' lives. Okay. I bribed them to let me to, I bribe them. I get them to purchase my services and then they just die to these these null hunters. And I, I want them to stay alive because this missing shipment, I remember reading about, if you guys hear, I'll actually show you. Shipment, oh, shipment orders. So deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open the chest. So that's, that's, that's part of this mission. And I remember reading it a couple of episodes ago go and I've been desperately trying to keep these two people alive and all they seem to want to do is die I did the fight five times no maybe six times and it all amounted to about Carlac Carlac your dance is adorable but don't do that not while I'm talking but I, I got so close to keeping one of them alive. It was the guy that's standing right there in the top of the screen, the one with the bun, and he's okay. blonde. I kept him alive all the way to three null hunters. I was just about ready to be done when all of a sudden he, it's just like all the null hunters have like this rapid fire on them. And I walked away. I turned off the game and went that, that's gonna be it for me tonight. <laughs> I was losing my mind. Okay, but you don't need to know all that anyways because we're back now and I'm ready to just reset. And if they die, they die. I just need to make it out of this encounter unscathed. I don't know what's going on, but there is a cutscene that happens with the Null Hunters, but I don't know how to trigger it. I triggered it once and then it's hard for me to explain because I think I'm just gonna cut everything out all the way up until right now. I found a back entrance way to actually get past the null hunters and i think this way is kind of nice because then you have these guys as help to kill all the null hunters and it's better to have help than to not have help but i started in a cutscene with the null hunters carlac 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 you're good chill 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 and then all of a sudden the null hunters just kept attacking me so watch okay we'll we'll play let this play this play that out so there's a couple of things we can do oh what if i deal with the gnolls and they leave. Actually, I never tried that. I'll deal with the gnolls. This could be utterly disaster. This this could turn into an utter disaster, I'm gonna be honest. Because I, if they, they, they kind of gave me the impression they're gonna just leave me, but I tried all these options. I said, there's another way out. And they said, nope, you're stuck in here with us. And then I was like, okay, one of us is getting out of here richer and they pay me. Uh, what if, to keep them alive, I deal with the gnolls. Will they just leave me? Let's try it. Thanks. Me and the boy will do what we can to help. We've still got some fight in us. 
Oh no, they still want to fight. Okay. And Shadowheart, and I don't care about Shadowheart, but Masarian disapproved of that. I did not like that. Actually, let's try this again. <laughs> we'll, we'll try that again because at least let's just get some money out of it. If they're going to fight anyways, let's just get some money out of it. I know that was a very long-winded explanation, but I, I knew I was going to have to come back to this episode and really do this fight because I want to do the shipment quest. But man, I, I don't know. You guys don't know this about me. I have a temper. I have a really bad temper, actually. It certainly is not <laughs> very feminine of me, but I I have a rage inside me, and when it bubbles over, I get very emotionally, like, screamy. I know. I'd never get mad at you guys. I don't think I would. Okay. We asked, uh, one of, one of us is, one of us is getting out of here richer. I don't fight for free. Fine. I'm inspired, hero for hire. <laughs> At least I gained inspiration too. Um, so from what I understand, I need to make it to, I need to make it to the big head honcho. I don't even know who the big head honcho is. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I think I want a Starion to go up here, uh, but I, I have to make my way to, let's see, this is Flind. Noel Hunter, Noel Hunter, Noel Fang of Yinongu. I think that's, this might be the leader. I don't know exactly, but I'm supposed to make it to the leader and somehow it activates a cutscene. We're just gonna go ahead and attempt to kill everyone. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm- I think I'm actually doing this. I knew I should have ended. I, I knew by fit- like walking away and then coming back to it, my head would have been so much clearer because I had- I'd spent a couple of um hours recording. Come on, Shadowheart. Um, I spent a couple hours recording and I was feeling pretty tired. Maybe that was what, what was going on. I don't know. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Yes, you guys, I did it. I actually managed to kill everyone. I didn't even like mean to try to keep this guy alive either, but the fact that he stayed alive finally, his AI recognized, hey, maybe I shouldn't go wandering around by myself. He deserved better. And so does his coin. Oh, you are so rude. He just looted his own guy. Let's talk to this guy. Thank the gods that's over. Wish you'd been with us when the beasts attacked on the road. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there. Uh, no, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Drow. The road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where were you? Are, where are you heading? I'll stay friendly so long as you hand over all your goods. Uh, where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver, but we've a stop to make along the way. Where is that? Maybe I should come see you don't get waylaid again. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. We'll find help at Joaquin's rest. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. I get an invite? Tell a fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Read his thoughts. I'm curious. I'm curious to read his thoughts. Shame we lost so many agents. But the chest is all that matters. Zaris would have our hides if we lost it. Zarian sent me to secure the cargo. What's in the chest? I'm gonna, I mean, you, I'm gonna say Zariz sent me to secure the cargo. Black hand be thanked. I didn't think anyone would find us. We'll take the chest back to the hideout. I owe you a drink, lots of drinks. I'm happy with that. This isn't a rescue, it's a robbery. I want the chest. Uh, clearly, the guy was meant to deliver the chest from the beginning. If I go ahead and take the chest, it, I'm no better than the robbers and the bandits that they found on the road and the people that attacked them. Um, what's in the chest? Since when does a mule know what it carries? 
That's true. I don't really want to intimidate him. If we can't open the chest anyways, why do we need to take it? If it's gonna go to the place anyways, we at least got an invitation and like a basically like a word to the good guy. Like, it feels like the Saza quest all over again. Like, Saza was our way into the goblin camp, but I didn't need her help. This also feels like one of those moments where it would be nice if I had a way in, but not necessary. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting, that if I if I go along with this, the invite is helpful and super cool to have, but maybe not as necessary as I would think. But I can't open the chest anyway, so I don't know. I'll leave. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh shattered flail mind flare par parasite okay thank goodness i was getting worried i was like oh shoot Ooh, a trap you say might as well disarm thank you thank you okay let's go ahead and open this bad boy easy enough Ooh, those are some cool uh gloves i'm so happy we managed to keep him alive i know that's kind of weird but Man, it, it was just, it's so satisfying to put, like, there was so, the fight was so hard at, in general. And then to manage to keep someone alive at the same time was definitely worth it. Where to go to from here? The world is seriously our oyster now. I felt pretty trapped with that whole scene and now I can go anywhere. <laughs> it felt pretty good. And we got a mind flare uh, tadpole. Another one to help our skills. Okay, so, hmm, we haven't gone, can we even go further this way? What is this? Travel through the mountain pass? We haven't uncovered anything in this little area here. Maybe let's go back to the blighted village and see what other things we need to do there. It seems like we haven't discovered a lot of this yet. Yeah, let's go back to the blighted village. Do you think these guys are gonna be friendly at all? Should I save it again? <laughs> Should I save it again? Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tice log fish. <laughs> Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Did you just say gentlemen? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Oh, God. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. I have it. I have the brand of the absolute. I Okay, when I got the brand, I was thinking that it was going to be like my key to getting the like the in with a lot of the the followers of the absolute you know hide in plain sight kind of thing so i'm really happy that i did do that show them the brand i see it how regrettable that your meat must go unsavored why is he talking like that food not food friend <laughs> Yes, you are quite the articulate ogre. Oh, they're ogres. Okay. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've seen few other ogres in this parts. You are quite the articulate ogre. Am I not astonishing? <laughs> a robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. Gourmand? A delicacy. Were I so lucky? Lump the Enlightened. It's a very good name. I notice you don't wear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. Then why are you here? The goblins understand my appetites. They say mm. my hunger for gold. That's why. And the rest... Say my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. <laughs> no talk. <laughs> this is so funny. Forget goblins. You should be fighting for me. I've seen other... Uh, let's do that one. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Those are really good words to use. <laughs> 
Okay. I'll give you 500 gold if I can call you into battle. Rogue and deception. A thousand to be paid once the killing's done. Yeah, we could do that one. Deception. A thousand gold after you fight for me. Persuasion. I have really high persuasion. I'll pay you in flesh of the fallen. You'll have your fill. My persuasion's extremely high. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's go. A brilliant nugget <laughs> and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. That's a very interesting pet name, but I guess I'll let it slide. <laughs> One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ooh. Everyone around, then Oka eats them. <laughs> Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. I have ogres in my back pocket. That's amazing. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. I did not... I... Pyramid scheme? <laughs> Urchin. Pyramid scheme. That is so cool. That might be worth a look. Wait, the pole? Wait. What's wrong with the pole? Wait, why is it showing me this random pole? Is there, maybe there's something I have to... What? Uh, dead tiefling, Oh, Oh. You know, I suppose we... <sighs> I don't want to fight these people up here. I think there's a way for me to get the goblin down. Rescue the, or sorry, the gnome. I don't really want to fight these guys because if I fight these guys, then I think that I'm going to have to fight every goblin in this camp and I really don't want to. I'm not looking for trouble. I just want to pass by. What the hells are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? I won't interfere. I just want to release that goblin, uh, release that gnome at once. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own! He's ours, and we ain't sharing. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. All right, branded deception. Ooh, we're allies. I have the absolute's brand. Leave the gnome to me. Intimidation. I won't let you harm a defenseless being, not without a fight. Persuasion. All of you lot against one deep gnome? You should go find a better target. I don't know. That one might seem like I'm asking him to come after me. Branded deception. Show him your brand and say you're taking the gnome. The absolute wills it. That one sounds like a really good one. Yes, absolutely. Easy. Wow, I can't believe I chose to like try to just walk by this guy. I thought for sure if I tried to talk about the gnome, they were just going to attack me. Hmm. Well, all right, take him. But he still counts as my catch, not yours. <laughs> what about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to- I said we're leaving. <laughs> There's plenty of fault and rich pickings out there for us. Move it. You guys, the mark is giving me so many opportunities. It's so good. All right, how do we get this gnome down? Ooh, ooh, that's some good stuff. Very good stuff in here. All right, Mr. Gnome. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to break it. Oh, break levers. Okay. Okay, let's 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 go talk to this guy. Cut me loose. Arcus Root. Okay, free him. What's in it for me? Free me and find out. <laughs> free him. <laughs> oh, Maga Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Oh, get on with what? I freed you. A little compensation would be nice. You seem a little confused. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works. Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe I won't extort him. Yes, my reward. Now you owe me nothing. I'd rather... N I'd rather know how you got caught. You owe me nothing. Nothing? I'd rather know how you got caught. I could extort you if that's what you want. You're teasing me now. <laughs> I'm certain of it. Take my pack. If you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're a little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. 
Oh, they lived in the Underdark. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. Oh, that's kind of sad. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. Oh, we still have to go there, so... help, my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Well, that's very well put, I guess. Oh, he said that if I find his pack... Okay, so his pack is now in here somewhere. It's funny that I was teasing him. Astarian did not approve. It's so funny. Astarian really wants violence, always. Always wants violence. Oh, his pack is over here? Yeah, I'm not finding his pack. Maybe his pack is underneath. Yeah, I don't know. There's a, I actually was watching a little bit of gameplay of Baldur's Gate, some, some, some clips that I've seen with the PC version. And the PC version is super, like the layout is very different. I think it would be easier to interact with stuff on the PC for sure. So obviously if I miss things in this game, don't mind me. It's just because truly it's no excuse for missing things, but it is really tough to sometimes interact with stuff in this game because it's, uh, you know, designed for a completely different platform. That doesn't mean I still can't get like enjoyment out of it, but there will be things I miss unfortunately. I think I've explored a good amount of this map as well. The only thing I need to do right now is I think go down to the Underdark. Oh, actually I can meet, let's meet the Ru Rugen's associates. I didn't, I, I guess I didn't explore the rest of this other area. Here we go. So there's a tavern here. This is the spot Rugen marked. Yeah. Doesn't look like much. Let's go in. <laughs> Shabby door. Oh, look, explosives. That's nice. Oh, look, that's nice. I like the idea of getting ambushed. Crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. No, no, no. Uh, wait, listen, Re recite Rugen's passphrase, yes. <laughs> See, easy. I didn't have to roll for it. They'll be on it soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Wow, so forthright with that information. I could have been anyone. Yeah, here's the key. Go ahead and take it. Okay, before we go any further into this, I think this is a good place to end it. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Crazy that I I ended up just absolutely raging quick. I don't do that very often. I don't usually just rage out. When I get frustrated with the game, it depends, like it gets categorized into a couple different things because you can rage like you can do with Elden Ring. Like some people would consider Elden Ring to be a rage worthy game, but I found it to be really challenging and exciting even for the, the, the most inept. Is that the right word to use? The, the, the players that are not as skilled can still be successful. And I like challenges that you go at it and you try it and you're bad at it. And then you try it again and you learn from it. Those are the challenges I like. And that fight seemed so chaotic because a lot of the AI was random. So sometimes the NPC would run out in the front of the battle or the ladder would get blown up and the NPC would just walk forward instead of climbing up the ladder. Or the null hunters would fire at the guy rather than me and so it was all very randomized the fact that i managed to get it first try while i was back on for the night was kind of impressive and the fact that i actually managed to keep him alive is also just as impressive let me tell you i'm a little sad i didn't get to activate whatever cutscene was there with the null hunters that one was weird because i found that i got the cutscene one time and then i didn't get the cutscene any of the other times it was very odd Either way, it might have just been because of the way I went into the cave. Maybe if I had approached the Null Hunters back up to the top, I could have gotten the different maybe cutscene. But I'm happy with all, how it all played out. Makes for a unique play playthrough. And uh, just happy you guys are along for the ride. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.